Formula One is a worldwide sport. We all know that, as it travels across five continents, visiting 22 tracks along the way. Well, at least that's what usually happens. However, this year, things are a little bit different. Since due to this little virus you may have heard of, it means that the world touring calendar has been adjusted, to say the least. Now, even though this is the best we can do in these circumstances, and some of these extra tracks are adding to the calendar are great to see once again, I'm not having it. I waited all winter, excitingly anticipating the massive calendar we were promised, full of fast, unique, and interesting tracks, and Russia. So, one way or another, I'm going to experience what was originally our 2020 calendar. And what better way to do so than by running a lap around every track? Let's do this. Now, running has never really been my expertise, as in secondary school, I was the fat kid who'd rather be playing Pokemon than sports. However, just over a year ago, I decided I wanted to change this by signing myself up to a half marathon that was only two weeks away. Now, I did a whole video about this on my main channel, Mr. Odin Rule, documenting my experience of training and doing the race itself, so I'll put a card on the screen now if you want to go watch it. It's a really good video, actually. I'm quite proud of it. But ever since that day, I've fallen in love with the sport of running, and thus, I've pretty much been running most days since. Well, I mean, that was until lockdown. For some reason, the world going to shit really took away my motivation to run and even though I still be doing two or three runs a week my fitness level is nowhere near what it was pre-corona so I thought what better way to jump start my training again than by doing this challenge also just if you aren't caught on by now I'm not actually going to go out and run a lap of all these tracks like physically at the track because the whole point is we can't travel there instead I'm just going to be running the distance of a lap of each of the tracks and calling it a day of that <laughs> and so on July the 7th I slipped on my Nike Zoom Flyknit trainers which are really great running shoes so comfortable so amazing and loaded up the Nike Run Club Back, which is also very fantastic and reliable. Please sponsor me, Nike, I beg of you. And just like that, the challenge was underway. Now, the first few days weren't too bad. It was a little tough getting back into the rhythm of running every day, but we were cruising for it, really. I mean, look at my little face. Jesus Christ, I needed a trim. Currently running the Bahrain GP. Currently at the Vietnam Grand Prix. Loving life. Currently doing round number four here in China. 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 Currently the Netherlands and Zambor. Seeing a suspicious lack of orange around there. Currently running the Spanish Grand Prix and not very Spanish conditions. Got my hair cut today and it's somehow worse than it was before. So I'm going to be spending the rest of my run thinking about ways to cover it up for the next month. Got the shortest run today, 3.33k. It's Monaco, baby. So we banged through the first seven races in eight days, making great progress. However, this consistently then hit a little bit of a rut. As we went away racing in Snetterton for the weekend, thus meaning I lost three days of potential running. But that's fine. You know, we've got plenty of leeway on this challenge. There's 22 tracks and we've got 31 days to do it. We have plenty of time for a few days off here and then. As I then resumed the challenge, crossing off Baku and Canada in the following two days. But then I decided to take another three days off. Why? I don't know, really. Probably just remembered how boring the French Grand Prix was last year and had no motivation to run it. However, in due time I did bite the bullet and get back on track running the next six GPs in seven days Austrian Grand Prix getting run currently nice little shorter one currently running the British Grand Prix and in typical British weather it's raining which is lovely I'm going Grand Prix boys let's do it this ain't getting repetitive is it running the spa right now longest race in the calendar at just about 7k it's a bit dark I'm a bit knackered but we move. Whose idea was this challenge again? Mamma mia, it's the Italian Gran Prix. <laughs> Leaving me with seven races remaining and eight days to complete it. Easy, right? I've got this in the bag. There's no way I can't complete this challenge now, right? So, yeah. Um, sickness messed up my plan real good. And by the time I was able to run again, I had four days left to do seven tracks. Time for a few double headers, lads. So we're just starting the last few days of the challenge now. Have to do a few double headers because we're a bit behind. I live in the second floor right now. It's not night time, unfortunately. So apologies, lads. Second run of the day now at Russia, 5.8k. We're flying through it, aren't we? Yes, Aiden. Yes, you are. And we banged through Japan the next day as well. Followed by a lap of the US and Mexican Grand Prix in one run the day after. And so with just one day left, we had two tracks remaining. And in true fashion for these tracks, I decided to run Brazil in the morning in the peeing down rain. Which was very fun. Before heading out at sunset at Abu Dhabi to finish off this challenge. At last. This was it. 31 days of my life dedicated to this challenge. Just over 114 kilometers have been run. Which, to be fair, I know isn't that impressive. But, like, I haven't run in a while. Right. And thus, as I rounded the final corner, I pictured the crowds cheering me on as I ran down the home straight, approaching the checkered flag, and I've done it! Yeah. Yes, we did it. <laughs> thank you to my family, thank you for all the support of me and believing in me. Great, mate, you're, you're up there. There's Fangio, Schumacher, then you. Well, that was...
King dreadful. So boys and girls, there you have it. I ran the entire 2020 F1 calendar in one month. Honestly, it's not that much of an impressive feat personally. Like in the peak of my running ability last year, I was doing like over 100k most months. But still, I thought I'd make a cool video. I really enjoyed it. And I hope you lot did too. Moreover, if this video's inspired you to go out and run, great. I'd love to see some of you lot get out there and take on this challenge yourself. Obviously, we've all got different levels of fitness, so you might not run much or you might hate running. But I promise you, if you haven't tried it before, or I've not tried it in a while, Running is quite good. So you can take as little or as much time as you need to complete this challenge. Or alternatively, you could just like run one track or your favorite track over like one run or many runs. Uh, you know what? I don't make the rules. Do whatever you like. Just let me know if you do go on a run on Twitter or whatnot. And I'll be sure to give you lots of love and praise and support. So yeah, that's it. Thank you guys very much for watching. I've been Aiden. This has been Mr. NF1. I hope you all have enjoyed the video. And I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.